aside from a little bit of rain in the morning, it's actually been a not a bad day. So pretty happy about that. And the night's supposed to be very warm. So, um, so looking forward to that. <laughs> I can't hear you. 40% chance of showers just turned into a 100% chance of rain. Great. Okay, so now I'm just annoyed. I have no idea what time it is. I haven't got a single wink of sleep still and the rain just won't let up. All I can say is that I just hope that it rains all the rain that is up there to be rained so that there's nothing left for tomorrow. But I really would like to get some sleep because otherwise tomorrow is going to be a disaster. Okay, it's 20 to 9 and I haven't slept two winks all night. I've just been listening to the rain. Um, which you can still hear, although I think most of this is just drops from the trees now, so... But still, I'm not particularly tempted to get up and out of my tent, but I have to go to the washroom really badly. For those of you who actually deal with insomnia on a regular basis, my heart goes out to you. I don't know how you do it. I, I must have slept a little bit because I had a really weird dream last night. <laughs> like, really weird. But I certainly wasn't aware of sleeping at all. <sighs> so I feel really, really crummy right now. Um, but we'll see. I have to go into town to get some firewood for tonight, uh, for the last three nights and um, hopefully I can get out on some of the trails but um, we'll see okay I'm gonna do this thing all right yeah okay here we go there's some Algonquin Park wildlife thankfully he's on the outside of my tent Inside my fly, but outside my tent, so that's good. Oh yeah, it rained hard last night. Look at all that splatter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. On my like door side, the splatter is way up my tent. That's insane. Did I tell you it rained last night? It rained. Funny though, the other side, back there, there's nothing. Um, so I think it's partly because there's so many pine needles and things over there. Whereas this is just, the entrance here is just kind of muddy. So let's go see. See, it's, oh yeah, look at that. Ugh. Yeah, oh sorry, there. So, it just splattered all over, but anyways, look. oh, and my shoes, how are my shoes? Yeah, well, not too bad, I guess. They've got <laughs> mud splatter all over them, but okay. Hopefully there's no critters living inside and I'm going to the washroom. Ew, what is that? That's like a snail or something? That is so disgusting. Oh boy. Okay, this is so gross. Um, yeah, I have to see if I can get this guy out of there. That's disgusting. Oh, look, he's alive. Oh, man. Okay, I am really... Look. Oh, that was in my shoe. Oh, that is... Oh, man. Dixie just loves the critters. 
not me. <laughs> not me, which is why I will not be doing the Appalachian Trail or the CDT or the PCT. Not happening. <laughs> yeah, no, keep going away from my tent. Do I have to help you? I'll, I'll help you. Oh, okay, this interrupted my washroom expedition. I have to get to the washroom really badly. Okay, but I have to make sure this guy gets away from my tent. The other thing that I'm not looking forward to is taking down my tent on Saturday because I set it up wet on wet ground. I could and probably should have moved it onto drier ground once the... Um, once the it got a little bit drier, like Monday or, or yesterday, probably yesterday. But um, it's so, well, it's not so much work, but it is so much work because I would have had to clear out everything inside here just to, uh, just to be able to move it. So yeah, way too much work. So I just left it and I, I, uh, there's going to be so many snails and other grossness on the bottom. Oh, anyways. Oh, that's gross. Oh, let's just give you one more shot. You can get on YouTube, buddy. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm sure they all have a place in the universe, but sometimes I wonder why God created these things. Ugh. Okay, washroom time now. Holy mackerel. I almost pitched my tent right there. And I'm so glad I didn't because you're always looking for flat ground to pinch and uh, pitch your tent on. And that is now a lake. So I pitched it over here, it's pretty flat, but, and it's soft. I can feel the, the softness of the ground underneath the tent this morning. So it's definitely got water under it, but hopefully because it's slightly on a slant, hopefully it actually drained the water away. But I'm looking at it right now and I'm thinking I may have, I may have pitched in as much of a pit as that one. But the sun is out so that's a bonus and all the drops of water are well occasionally it goes into the cloud see there's lots of clouds coming from that direction but a little bit of blue sky um so i don't know i don't know what today's gonna hold weather wise but last night at least it wasn't cold i'm not looking forward to the next two nights it's supposed to be really super cold um but as a matter of fact let's go see what the temperature is right now and i will tell you it is about 11 degrees and when i checked it last night around 10 o'clock or something it was eight or nine degrees so it was actually forecast to go down to eight which is actually not bad at all for this time of year. Um, the other nights, the other, the first two nights were probably six, I think. At least that's what was forecast. Um, so those two degrees make a big difference. <laughs> um, anyways, I gotta go get some water, get some breakfast, get this show on the road. And this little guy, he just tried to get into my tent. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, but you wouldn't have got in because unless you chewed a hole in it. So, now you're trying to pretend like you were never anywhere there. Yeah, right. There are a lot of little red squirrels on this site and they're fast. If you're not sharp, they'll get your food in like no time. So I really hate it when people feed the animals because they just get them used to human presence and I know they're cute and all. Oh my goodness they're dropping pine cones all over me. I know they're cute and all but oh here he comes. No I don't have food for you. I don't have food for you. Come on. 
He didn't like to get that close, eh? He figured, realized I don't have food. All right, so anyhow, um, yeah, really bugs me when people feed the animals. They become, and like even the squirrels, but let alone if the like bigger animals, people leave their sights dirty and stuff. Um, and they just become really bold and it's not good. It's not good for the animals and it's not good for the humans who come out here to enjoy nature. So anyways, just my public service announcement for the day. <laughs> All right, I said I'm gonna go get some water. Oh my goodness. Some of these other campsites down here, just, I don't know if you can see, can you see the puddles? Like it's craziness, absolute insanity. I would not want to be on one of these other campsites down here. So mine, the, the road sort of slopes down here towards the lake. You can see the lake over there. Um, and you can sort of see the lake and, and also the highway through the trees there. So the road from my site slopes down to here where the water spot is. This is the water spot. Yeah. Um, and so down, lower down here, it's completely soaked. I'm so glad I got that spot, which is, it was the only one available. Um, but I'm so glad that it's like up the slope a little bit because yeah, I wouldn't want to be down here right now. All right, folks, don't try this at home. I'm using my umbrella as a windshield because the wind, when it picks up, is picking up huge. And yes, I'm not at the picnic table. I sh totally should be at the picnic table. Um, but if I was out in the back country, I guess I would have to do it this way. This guy's probably a little too close. That's why I didn't want the big flames to go up from the wind. Um, but it, it's just threatening to rain at any second. So I don't trust standing at the picnic table. This is when I should set up the kitchen tent, but not happening this time. So I'm just trying to make do. Um, but yeah, I was getting major flames from the, from the stove and I was not comfortable with that. So I pulled out the umbrella. <laughs> to serve as my windshield and it's working very well. <laughs> but I have to keep an eye on it the whole time. Like I really completely have to keep an eye on it. And finally my water is boiling. Let's see, yep, boiling nice and good. I don't know if you can see that. Um, okay, so time for breakfast. You've heard of one pot stew? Well, this is one pot breakfast, <laughs> cream of wheat, with eggs and blueberries and raspberries and accompanied by some OJ. That's the way to do it when you're out in the woods. <laughs> This day has been kind of a waste. I spent most of it sitting at the uh, visitor center charging my phone and updating pics to Instagram and Facebook. And it poured rain while I was there, so good thing too. And I've been into town to pick up some firewood, so we should be good until I go. I was going to uh, stop here and eat some lunch, but that cold front that blew in last night, it's like super windy, it's super freezing, and it's actually raining again right now. The sun was just shining. It doesn't know if it wants to shine or rain or blow or what. But oh my goodness, it's getting worse. I gotta go, bye. Oh my goodness, that just blew right in. As I was talking to you, I barely got into the car and I got soaked. Okay, okay. I'm not looking forward to trying to start a fire in the freezing cold and pouring rain. Oh gosh, why do I do this? Somebody tell me, why do I do this? 
Okay. All right. So I'm going to go find a place where I can sit and hopefully give you a nice view. If I can. If it doesn't keep raining. Otherwise, I'll just head back to the campsite and uh, start to try to start my fire. Um, tonight is going to be really, really cold. The the um, weather forecast that I saw this morning and that was not updated that I put up on my Instagram hasn't been updated since I think Sunday, Saturday or Sunday. And it said tonight's supposed to be three degrees and tomorrow night minus three. Um, the more up-to-date forecast, which was at my campground office this morning, said tonight's gonna be one degree and tomorrow minus one or something. So minus one is better than minus three. Um, but either way, either side of zero right now, not what I was hoping for. Hopefully Friday night, which will be my last night, it's supposed to be much better. So um, it's supposed to be up to, I think about nine degrees again, maybe even if I'm really lucky, maybe even 11. I can't remember what the, the forecast said. Okay, it's 10 minutes later and you'll never believe me. So I had to stop to show you. We're back at the uh, Lake of Two Rivers picnic area that I showed you the other day. And um, yeah, the sun is shining. Look at that lake, just like a shining crystal. Um, of course, it's all muddy and wet. You can maybe see the puddles there from the rain over the last week, from even before when I was here last time, and then from even more last night. So the clouds are coming from over there. It's not looking really good, not looking very promising. So. I'm not going to sit here because I'm sure there's no place dry to sit and I don't know how long before it starts to rain again. So yeah, today's a bit of a wash and okay, honestly, let's face it, I'm a wimp. That big guy up there, that guy, Blue Jay, let's go Blue Jays, let's go. <laughs> That guy just literally a couple of times dive bombed my head to try to get my lunch. And he's been showing up every morning and every afternoon. It's beautiful. But apparently he wants my lunch. Well, sure enough, the sun was around for a little bit. And now the clouds just rolled in. The craziest weather ever. And uh, hoping to get this fire started. So we'll see what kind of luck I have today. The wood is good. It, and yes, there's my ax right there. I just chopped some wood so that it's a little bit smaller because I usually am too lazy to chop it. And then it's just way too big. Oh, and I have to move this grill out of the way. And, uh, oh. That wasn't good. My teepee kind of fell apart. I was afraid that was gonna happen. Um, I hope it gets going. I'm gonna have to get to watching it because otherwise I'm in trouble. So it didn't end up raining. I was able to get my fire started, but it was, it was tough slogging there, which is really weird because I had the good wood. I have a tendency to put a probably put too much wood and not really know where to put the wood so I end up suffocating the fire and killing it. <laughs> Fortunately like today um, I only used one match and <laughs> kept it going so I pride myself on successfully getting the fire started and keeping it going just with one match um, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's pretty. <laughs> so now it's kind of on his last log. It's probably approaching about nine o'clock and um, I think it's probably about 8.30 quarter to nine. And I'm just gonna kind of watch this die down and then I'm gonna get ready for bed. And um, actually last night I was thinking about it and about this little game that I play <laughs> and the purpose of it all. And obviously it's par about you know, not wasting any fuel and all that, that's kind of obvious. 
but it's about so much more as well. Like, it's about patience. It's about learning to be still, just stop and be, just exist and not worry about anything else. Especially in today's world and hustle and bustle and everything. It's just, there's always so much stuff going on. So it's good to sometimes just stop and be still and relax and be in the moment and not think about anything except, you know, the the coals and the embers <laughs> dying down. Um, so the rules, I did put some of the rules up on my Instagram post. So basically... I ha my goal is to get all the logs down to the tiniest embers possible and just to kind of sit here and watch the fire, tend the fire until it does that and try to keep it burning as well as possible until then. I can move the logs around and if they break apart, that's okay. So if the log is brittle enough that it breaks apart, that's fine. Um, I just can't start poking it and give up and intentionally start breaking apart. That forfeits the game. If the fire loses its heat, like it's no longer hot enough to keep me warm. And yes, that is a truck on the highway about 100 meters away from me. So no, this is definitely not backcountry camping, but it's okay. <laughs> Actually, uh, traffic, there's not much traffic here at night. So, it's, of course, then you do hear the few trucks that go. But anyways, okay, so back to my rules. So if it's brittle enough to fall apart by itself, that's okay. If I poke it intentionally to break it apart, I forfeit, which means I automatically lose. If it's cold enough that it loses its heat and it's not keeping me warm anymore, that's okay. It probably means I have not got a winning result, but it's okay. It's a valid result. And if I call a time, like last night I said 11 o'clock, if it's not done by then, then that's it. And then that's fair game as well. So I've actually had a few times where I've like brought it down just to tiny, tiny, tiny embers. And I don't think I can beat that. <laughs> um, today, I've still got a couple of pretty big logs on there. So um, I don't know what's going on, if they're going to burn out or not. But we'll find out. And they keep puffing snow smoke my way. Oh, anybody know if... Oh, jeez. Anybody know if... Uh, <laughs> fire... <laughs> smoke from a campfire has a pH because I think it's like major acidic but I could be totally wrong um it's just gross though it gets in your eyes and ooh, stings yikes all right back to tending my embers <laughs> helicopter just went through with full searchlights on so I don't know what they're looking for like it's just circling around I haven't seen it again but I can hear it just within the perimeter of where I am it's just not going any further okay so I said the highway is about a hundred a hundred kilometers a hundred meters north of where I am so that's for you Americans that's about a hundred yards north of where I am and that helicopter, since I mentioned it to you, since it passed by here about, I'm going to say five minutes ago, um, it's just been going back and forth, back and forth along the north side of the highway. So they're clearly looking for somebody. And again, it's going to be such a cold night. I hope they find them because this is not the night to be out and lost in the open. Thank <laughs> you. 